morning Facebook family. Uh, high five to you. Let's come up a little bit higher today. Now I know I've been uh, talking about the signs in the heavens and uh, God's GPS, his, his uh, God's prophetic signposts, but today I want, because it's 9-11, September 11th, uh, 18 years since the uh, attack of the Twin Towers, I just want to bring you up to date of, of something that's happening. Um, you know, it, it was, uh, Billy Brim wrote about it in, in her, um, in, in her newsletter, The Glory Watch, and, uh, it, uh, about when she was over there. And when she was over there, she found out that, uh, the Lord told her to go over there in September of, of 1999, and, um, and, Let's see, she wrote about it in the Glory Watch Autumn 2001. And the Lord told her to go over there and, and uh, something was going to happen. And she went over there with uh, uh, several ministers and, and uh, they did different things. But she found out that uh, the rabbis had been watching for 400 years for this September 11th, 1999. And I'm going to uh, say here, you know, that September 11th, 1999, uh, it was Rosh Hashanah. It was the head of the year of 5760. Now, on this Rosh Hashanah, it's going to be 5780. So that was, this has been 20 years ago that this, that this happened. It says, um, the date 9-11-1999, Rosh Hashanah, the period of the judgment of the nations, which accumulated... Um, and and so diff several different things and it says September 11th of year it, of the year one of the Jewish calendar is the birth date of Adam. That's when Adam was created. He also states that six uh, hundredth anniversary of Adam's creation is September 11th, 1999. And um, so I don't know where those other 40 years went, but <clears throat> September 11th was uh, that the rabbis had been looking for that specifically. Now, I was with Mark Biltz the other night, and I, I asked him, we talked about that, and I said, what exactly were they, were they looking for for 400 years? He said, I don't know, but we need to find out. And and so um, he that, that, that year, it said the judgment of the nations would begin. Now, the next year on Rosh Hashanah, Ariel Sharon went up to the Temple Mount and he read Ezekiel 37 out loud on the Temple Mount, which is forbidden for any Jews to pray or read scriptures or anything. And it started the Antifada. Now the Antifada, uh, the Arab uh, uprising, uh, Arab uprising, it, it actually had been planned. They already had staged all their weapons. They, they, they had already planned to uh, start war. And that began the, the Arab Antifada. So the next year, okay, so that was 1999, 2000, the Antifada on Rosh Hashanah. The next year, a 9-11, uh, the America uh, joined in with the judgment of the nations because that's when we had the, the terror attack on September 11th. Um, you know, the, the enemy loves to, um, uh, he loves to celebrate his victories. And when he has great victories like that, he loves to celebrate them on that day. It just increases the mourning, it increases the pain. And uh, every year, I, I was with um, uh, the 9-11, um, Cry Out America. And so they, were, they had people all over the United States that, that uh, would pray at the, at the, um, at, at the county seat every 9-11, they would pray for the nation. So all of the county seats across America were covered. And I was in charge of Galveston County. And so for every year, uh, that stopped a couple of years ago. It should have kept going, but but um, it was the year 2012. And I just had an, inc I had such an incredible burden. I was weepy, I, I was just heavy. Um, not just heavy in weight, but heavy in a burden, a, a heavy burden coming upon me. And and I kept telling intercessors, please pray, because I, I believe that, that, that the enemy is going to try to do something to celebrate uh, on 9-11. I believe that there is an attack coming upon the United States. Well, when I went to bed that night, the, nothing had happened. And 
uh, I can't believe this five minutes go so fast. Anyway, nothing had happened and I woke up uh, and and so nothing had happened. I had the burden. I had the intercessors praying, and and I thought, well, either I missed it or the prayers of the righteous avail much. And so, um, I when I woke up the next morning, we heard about Benghazi. Benghazi was attacked on nine eleven, and that's the uh, embassy uh, attack that was so horrible. And so, pray for America today. Pray that the, no weapon formed against us will prosper. Pray that America comes into repentance and comes into their, their ordained place in the Lord in these last days. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless.